You're probably here because you are ready to start building an email list and you're wondering is ConvertKit, MailChimp, or MailerLite right for me? Over the past few years, I've grown an email list from 300 subscribers to over 30,000 email subscribers and I've learned a thing or two about choosing the best email service provider. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you my insight on these three specific programs so you can choose which one is best for you. If you wanna hear more tool reviews and tricks for freelancers and virtual assistants, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Just click that subscribe button and make sure you also hit the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. I release content all the time just for virtual assistants and freelancers. So if that's you, you want to make sure to subscribe to my channel. Growing an email list is one of the best tips that I have whenever you're starting an online business. I don't care if you are just starting out or if your mom is your only email subscriber, it is so important to just get started. My business really evolved as I grew an email list. When I was just starting out in my business, I didn't have much of an audience to sell anything to. That's why I started with services. It's really the reason that I teach people how to become virtual assistants is because I'm such a huge fan of starting with services. However, building an email list was still important to me at that point. Once I had a thousand email subscribers, I was able to launch my first online course. I made $8,000 in a week launching that online course, which was my VA bootcamp. And I have since grown that course to serve over 1600 students. Now my email list is over 30,000 members and that has enabled the income for my business to be able to support myself, been able to retire my husband, and I have four full-time staff members on my team. When people ask me, Abby, how was this done? I really attribute it back to an email list. Listen, if you have a product, but you don't have people to purchase it, then you're not going to sell, okay? So building an audience who know, like, and trust you is one of the best things that you can do for your business. Okay, I'm off my email list building soapbox now. Let's get into the nitty gritty about which email service provider is best for you. Let's talk first about ConvertKit. I'm a huge fan of ConvertKit and ConvertKit is actually the email service provider that I use. Now, why I love ConvertKit is obvious. I really love the way that you're able to segment your list. You can break it apart by different tags. You can have different segments inside of your list. You can send emails just to some people and not to others. You have somebody going through a welcome sequence, that's okay. You can make sure that your current emails don't also go to the people in that specific sequence. The way that it's organized really works with my brain and you can get super specific on who is receiving your emails. Speaking of sequences, I love the way that ConvertKit has their sequences laid out. I can have an entire email series that somebody will go through and that is actually how I make a lot of the money inside of the Virtual Savvy is I have an email sequence that eventually sells my online course. And this has enabled me to really make what we've all heard about that passive income, right? It took, yes, a lot of time and energy to build the email list to get the traffic coming in. But once I have it, those sequences pretty much do the work for me and now I can make money on autopilot. There are a couple other reasons why I really love ConvertKit. One of the things that they tout is that the simpler email structure results in better deliverability. Now, I don't personally know if this is true, but I have never had an issue with my deliverability. I know that my emails arrive in people's inbox, that they arrive on time, they arrive consistently, and they get really good open rates. So just from my personal experience, I've had ConvertKit from that 300 to 30,000 uh, mark that entire time, my deliverability has been consistent. So I can definitely vouch 
for that, at least from my own personal experience. Now, I do really love how quickly they became GDPR compliant. It was really, really easy to set up the GDPR compliant measures, and there's an entire blog on their website that teaches you exactly how to do this inside a ConvertKit. I will link to it below this video. Really ConvertKit is best for content creators and bloggers. If you have a lot of visual products that you want to be going out in your emails, then ConvertKit probably isn't for you. However, for someone like me, who really just sends out really good meaty content inside of my emails, it has been really, really awesome. I totally recommend ConvertKit. Let me know in the comments below, have you tried ConvertKit? What do you like or dislike about it? I wanna hear from you. Okay, let's talk about MailChimp now. We're doing the ultimate face-off, right? And it is MailChimp's turn to be in the ring. I wanna go ahead and say this. I started with MailChimp. I am now using ConvertKit, but I really think that MailChimp is still an awesome option for people who are just starting to build an email list. ConvertKit does cost money. Whenever you put money into something, you're gonna value it more. So I recommend investing in ConvertKit as soon as you can. However, if you're just wanting to get started, you need a free tool. MailChimp is really, really awesome, especially because you can have up to 2,000 people on your email list totally for free. I think that is a really, really incredible feature about MailChimp. I'll throw this out there as well. MailChimp is super visual. So if you really like those beautiful emails, I would recommend going with MailChimp. It works really well for people with physical products too. You can have a picture of your product and have a button that links directly to your online store to purchase that. Uh, it's one of the things that I loved about MailChimp was their easy drag and drop features. You can literally drag, I want an image here, and you can put it in that spot. You can say, I want a button here or a block of text here, and you can literally drag and drop. They also have so many templates available for you that you can choose so you don't have to recreate something all on your own. You can just go with one of their pre-standard templates. Okay, I wanna know in the comment below how many of you are on the MailChimp bandwagon. I love the fact that it's free, so if you agree with me, let me know in the comments below. Okay, I'm gonna throw one more into the mix. About a year ago, I probably would have just talked about MailChimp and ConvertKit because they are my two favorite email service providers. However, since that time, a new email service provider has come onto the scene that is gaining a lot of attention, so I want to put it out there for you as well. It is MailerLite. I'm seeing more and more people choose MailerLite over MailChimp when they're first getting started building an email list. It is free up to a thousand subscribers. It's very user-friendly, easy to use, and you can get started right away. Now, I've also heard people say that segmentation, one of those features that ConvertKit has, is also a lot easier inside of MailerLite. And one of the things that I really love, I'm always a big fan when a business does this, is the live chat support. So if you do need help, that live support is available right away with MailerLite. So if you're wanting my recommendation, ConvertKit versus MailChimp versus MailerLite, my recommendation is drum roll. I think that if you have under 1,000 email subscribers, you should definitely go with MailChimp or MailerLite. The awesome thing is, is that you can try out both of these systems for free. On MailChimp, up to 2,000 email subscribers, and on MailerLite, up to 1,000 email subscribers. So test them out, see which one works best for you. See which one fits your personality, which one seems the most user-friendly to you, and then go from there. And if you do have over a thousand email subscribers, I totally recommend considering switching to ConvertKit. They have tons of information on their website on how to get started. They have training webinars consistently. They have an awesome online Facebook community that you can ask and get questions answered quickly. It's really been inspiring and helped me stay focused on email marketing being a member of ConvertKit. So if you are really serious about email marketing, check out ConvertKit. 
So which do you think is best for you? Comment below and let me know. I would love to hear which email service provider you think you're gonna go with. Now, if you want more training on email marketing, we have an email marketing 101 course inside of our Savvy Tech Lab. In fact, we have over 40 tech courses, including courses like ConvertKit, MailChimp, MailerLite, in addition to courses like Pinterest, Instagram, Trello, Canva, and you can get access to all of these courses for just $47 a month. Go ahead and click on the link below if you want to check out Savvy Tech. And hey, if this video was helpful, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, share it with a friend, and hit the like button so that I know to make more videos just like this. I'll see you next time.